Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Rasco Garage. We're going to be working on the F80 M3 today. Um, I sold my stock uh, 666M competition wheels, so those are out of here. So I need to put my 18 inch wheels back on the car, but in doing so, I'm going to reinstall my wheel studs. I took them off because I thought I was going to sell the car, so I was putting it back to stock trim. Great news never going to sell it keeping it forever. So I want to put the wheel studs back on because it makes tire changing so much easier. It's such a pain in the butt to just use the, the, the lug nuts. So we have to do a couple things today. So when I pulled my wheel studs out the first time, there's a little bit of like Loctite residue on them. And so we got to clean off the stud, the threads on the studs. And then we have to clean off the threads on the hub as well to make sure everything is nice and clean. Um, we're going to need a couple tools here, which I'm going to show you now. This is pretty basic. It's basically changing a tire, right? So you jack up one side, we'll, we'll take the tires off, we'll get everything cleaned up, but I'll just kind of bring you guys along, um, along the way in the process. If you're going to install new wheel studs, obviously you don't have to do the cleaning portion of this video, but um, if you got some secondhand wheel studs and you're going to install them or you got them off eBay or whatever, this may be a helpful video for you. So let's see what we have. So. Um, we have the wheel studs here. You can see the residue from the Loctite, so we're going to clean all that off. Uh, I know there's probably some residue um, on the hubs as well and those threads, so we're going to clean that off as, as well. So a couple tools here. Uh, I got my Dremel with a wire brush. I'm going to try this size first to see if that one works. If not, I have a couple other ones. We're going to use that to clean everything off. Um, we're going to use an impact to see if that works because we're going to have to do the double nut method in order well, actually we're going to, have to do like this or probably like this to get the studs torqued on now these ones do have the um, hex pattern but they're really easy to strip out so I would just recommend double netting it but we'll go through that process torque specifications and stuff for that um, here in a minute. So we've got a Dremel, we've got our impact to help us tighten um, when we're doing the double nut method. You're going to need a 17 millimeter wrench to get the nuts tightened together. We're going to need a torque wrench because we've got to tighten down the, or we've got to torque down the studs and then we'll, we'll have to torque down the um, lug nuts on the, once we get the wheels reinstalled as well. And we'll need a breaker bar with a 17 millimeter socket and then we need Loctite blue medium strength because we don't want this thing to be like <laughs> we don't want the wheel studs to be welded on the car forever so use Loctite blue it's enough hold that it'll keep them in place but not so much that you can never get them off or it's going to be like a monumental task to break them loose so with that said I'm going to start on the driver's side we'll get the car get the wheels loose get the car jacked up and we'll just start going around the way, cleaning and getting the stuff going. Okay, so we got all the threads nice and cleaned up here. So now these are ready to go. So now we will move over to the car and get the wheels off, clean out the threads on the hub get these things threaded in, torque them, and just go around, repeat it four times over. Let's go. All right, so for this part, we're gonna get our Loctite. So what you're gonna wanna do, get our Loctite here. So you're gonna wanna run just one strip of Loctite just right down the threads here. You don't have to squeeze the bottle, just kind of let it come out. Okay, just one line and then finger tighten it. Okay. Now the threads are nice and clean, that goes right in. Perfect. Nice. So then what we're going to do We're going to 
put on our lug nuts. So we're going to tighten them against one another. So this is where your 17 millimeter wrench comes in handy. Okay. And we're just going to try to zap this on. Okay, that's it. You don't want to do it too much. So then we're going to take our torque wrench and I have mine set to 30 foot pounds. These things don't need to be torqued on like 100 foot pounds. That's not necessary. We'll do all of them 30 foot pounds. And then when we go to tighten on the lug nuts, we're going to do those at about 90 foot pounds. I believe the manual, I think it suggests for like 100 or 103 foot pounds with the, with the lug nuts themselves. But now with the studs, we don't have to go quite as tight. So I've run this setup on the track many, many, many times. I've had no issues. So we'll do 30 foot pounds on the studs and then we'll do 90 foot pounds on the lug nuts when we get to that point. Okay, so that was a complete process for one hub, obviously, or one corner of the car. So we got all the studs, everything was cleaned up. We cleaned up the threads on the hub, cleaned up the threads on the, uh, the wheel studs. They are now torqued on. We did the double nut method, got them torqued on to 30 foot pounds. So now we have the um, replacement wheel. I have my Beamer World. These are the TA5Rs with some Toyos. I think they are, what are they, 275s? 35s uh, by 18. So these are my wheel of choice. They're dirty. I don't have time to clean them at the moment, which is sad, but we're going to throw on the spacer, get this thing on, get it ready to go, and then we'll get the rear going. It's already up in the air. And then once I let this side down, we will torque all the lug nuts on to 90 foot pounds. And then this side will be done. We'll move to the passenger. We'll be done uh, here in maybe about an hour or so. So let's get after it. So there you have it. This is a quick little video showing you how to reinstall or install rather wheel studs that were used. So a little bit of cleanup involved, a little bit of prep involved versus getting a brand new set. I would still recommend prepping the, the threads on the hub, make sure those are clean. Obviously the threads on the studs, if you buy new ones, those ones are gonna be nice and clean. But if you do get a second hand set on eBay, Craigslist, what have you, right? This is a good step-by-step -step to get used wheel studs installed. So you know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate you guys watching the channel. If you have any questions, drop me a comment. Be sure to check us out on rascogarage.com. Got some cool products on there, some uh, custom exhaust for some E36s. So until then, thanks for watching. Bye.